All right, here we go. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to try to hit for the cycle here. Ellie can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Hunting for Ellie. Three blasters and a hobby box. So we got here a single. Let's try to knock out a double. A little triple action. Let's see if we can hit one out with this uh, hobby box. Guaranteed one auto in this one. Um, let's go with the blasters first. Set these two off to the side. Grab something to open this with. Got some sleeves ready. So here we go. Sometimes it's good to store your bowman, and uh, you know, you never know what could, uh, what could come out of these. I did that a few months back with uh, Volpe. Grabbed the box off the shelf and hit a green uh, on-card auto out of this blaster box from 2020. Uh, we'll go through the base pretty quickly, stack the chromes. Uh, try to get through these blasters pretty quick and enjoy the hobby box. Blaze Jordan. Some more base. Amador, Sal Freelick. Another good prospect. A lot of good prospects out of here. So, um, you know, we're not just looking for Ellie when it comes to um, the 2022 release. Vargas, Henry Davis just got the call up. There's Khalil Watson. Wonder how Henry's doing. I know he was uh, saw he was like one for ten, then hit a homer. I don't know what he did after that. that was a couple days ago. Urbina, Samad Taylor. Two more packs to go in this first one. Uh, double insert pack. This is probably going to be a 3D and a top 100. I know it's pretty bad. I've opened up so much. I kind of know the collation and see how things run. There's a Henry Davis again. There's a Peraza. I love the numbers. You can kind of watch these prospects track. And uh, obviously 81 here, but uh, those numbers change quite often. Pete Crow, he's, on the, he's in the top 10 right now. Um, actually, let me see if I got this still pulled up. Follow my top 100. Pretty much check it every Monday. You know, you can get into it more in depth, but you know, once a week is pretty good for me. I like to see what happened throughout the week and the weekend after following the majors. There's a Oswaldo Cabrera, Luca Tresh, and Mr. Joe Ryan. Um, let's see here. So, number one spot. Obviously, this list is a little different, but Ellie's up there, but he's already got the call up. So, Jackson Holidays up in the top spot. Churio, we know about Churio. He's He's more ready than Holiday, I, I think. Um, just time in the minors and age, obviously. So what's cool is when you go to top 100 rankings, let's see if I can show this better. Uh, you click on the player, and it'll actually give you kind of a call update. So this little ETA right here, 2024, um, gives you all your draft information, personal bio. But um, you can get into a little bit of the stuff here. But if you really want to follow each player, um, you got to get the most up-to-date stuff, uh, depending on what site you like to use. But there's a lot of good uh, good information on here for free. Some of the sites do require you to pay or have an account or subscription or just sign up, whatever it may be. But there's a lot of stuff that's on here for free. So just uh, do a little bit of homework, and it can benefit you. Um, Brennan Davis. Matos. Jose Pastrano. Yeah. That's the best, uh, the best bet. Follow the top 100. It's, it's always changing. Uh, we got a little something thick back here. That's blue. True blue, it looks like. No shimmer, true blue. Let's sweat that a little bit. Let's finish up the rest of these packs. Felt a little thick. And, um, okay, nothing. Yeah, but that's the one that I personally like to follow. A lot of good channels out here, too, that kind of cover some of the draft picks. Um, you know, disclaimers with taking advice, but do your own homework, and it, it could be a lot of fun. That's why I enjoy Bowman, because there's really never 
till, till about two or three years out, you'll, you'll know what these players are going to be, if they're going to do anything, if they've, you know, digressed, whatever, through the minors. Um, see how fast some of these guys move up within a year, and then they get called up a year quicker than expected. So there's a lot of factors that go into it, but following all that can be fun with the old cards you already purchased. So you can still have a lot of fun with the hobby. Um, nice Bobby Witt. Can have a lot of fun with the hobby with no added cost. Still no Ellie. There's an Adley on the back. That's cool. Nice Adley Rutschman prospect card. Huston Kerstad. It's a good one. Zayed Zelinas. Okay, let's see what we got here for this purple. Nick Gonzalez, he was another big prospect for a while. Where was he drafted? Seventh overall. Not sure how he's doing right now. Let's take a look on the top 100. Jackson Merrill's number 12. And what's nice about this too, if you're not into, just into positional players, just come down here and then um, you could just switch this by position, I believe. Um, top 10 by position. And then it'll give you a little scroll down, catcher, first base. Um, but I think it does all there should be no another another I don't know if it's ESPN but there's one where you can change to all offense or filter out pitchers but anyway you get the idea um, Pete Crow Jackson Merrill uh, Gavin Williams from my tribe he got called up didn't do too well and then Colton Kowser that's my guy there Colton Kowser crazy that I have Drew, Drew Jones on here you know he's hurt betting like one was 178 180 you know uh, I get it but Caminero Luciano He's been in the minors forever. Um, their self, Freelick. Brooks Lee, he was their top round pick. Um, he was in the last release. Royce Lewis, Montgomery. There's Colson and Benny. Let's see if Benny's still on here. Curtis Mead, I like that. Jason Dominguez working his way back up. Junior Acuna, middle Acuna. Um, Rokio, Andy Pages. Or no, it's Ronnie Mauricio. Ronnie Mauricio has been in there too. Ronnie Mauricio, and who else is there? Uh, Valera. He was he was up there for a while. Ronnie Mauricio and then Marco Luciano. Both of those guys have been around for a while. Um, Connor Norby. Orioles got some prospects. They got Norby. Um, Heston, and then um, who else was it? Heston Kerstad? Was it Kerstad? Yeah, Heston, Norby, and um, this kid, Colton Kowser. I think he's the he's the real deal. A little biased because I do have a nice green auto of his jersey match. But, ooh, look at this. That snuck up on us. Going a little too fast. Chase, Silset, Sil, Jesus, Silset. What up, Chase? 321st overall. Cool. Paper auto. And we got a blue in the same pack. All right, let's see who this bad boy is back here. Come on. It's a first. Giants. Hey, first blue. Not bad. That's always nice out of a blaster box. Wow, look at that. Beautiful card. I love the blue. Number 141 of 150. Cool. Diego Velasquez. And then we've got this uh, Chase Silseth. Okay. And base, base, base. So, first box, we got struck. What are we struck out? We didn't hit nothing. So, this made up for it. So, there's our, there's our single. There's our double. And uh, we needed a big hit out of here. We need, a, we need a hit for the triple here. Not a cheap triple either. None of them doubles with a fielding error or single reached in a fielding error. Let's keep it going. That box is pretty hot. Brandon Marsh. More base. Oh, there we go. There's an Ellie. There's one Ellie. 
Why not? Let's get some good, uh, good mojo going here with Ellie. Let's do one of these right here. So that's what we're looking at. We got a bunt single from Ellie, and then we got the double triple. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. Wilman Diaz, Guzman, and Pedro Young. Benny Bombs, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, okay. That didn't even feel thick. Oh, because on the back, I, didn't, I couldn't even tell. Awesome. Look at that. Eddie's Leonard. Cool. Let's see if Eddie, as I almost fumble looking for my other phone, Let's see if he's even on the top 100 now. If he is, he's down pretty far. I'm not sure where he's, he's ranked, but um, cool. We'll take it. I'll just look to the side here as I'm sleeping these up. So, Ellie. Not bad for... Uh, a handful of blasters. Wander rookie. Grayson Rodriguez, another good prospect. He's up there. I don't know if he's getting called, got called up already, but he's he's supposed to be up this year. Haven't followed the Orioles. St. Quentin, Christian Hernandez. This list is just forever changing, so you really gotta stay up on top of it. All right, last pack here of the. Blaster boxes. Nothing. All right, so we did not strike out altogether. The first box sucked. Let's be honest, no hits. Second box made up for the first. And right. hobby time. We got to get there with the, the home run shot in this one. Yeah, that's right. I'm dropping packs. Jesus. Rookie mistake. All right, you know what? Let's get this base off the table here. Whole lot of base. We are a little bit away from the midpoint of the season, but baseball's been fun this year. I can't say it enough. I don't like the speed of the clock um, for the pitchers, but overall the game's been great. I like the nice surprise teams. Uh, thick pack here. We got an Invicta right off the rip. We'll go through the same thing pretty quick on the base. Trey Sweeney, Brett Beatty. Base, 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 and this one is a Jordan Walker. Not bad. This one's gonna take a little thicker. These can come parallel, gold, orange, etc. cetera. Uh, gold and orange, and I'm not sure if there's any other colors on those. Marcelo Mayer, he's up there in the top 10 as well. Uh, where's Mayer at on this list? I know he's got to be up there in the top 10. He is number five. And there's a pitcher ahead of him, Perez. Well, that's old news. Um, so, yeah, he's in the top five. James Wood up there in the number six hole. James Wood. A lot of good prospects coming up here shortly. Don't think he'll see the field anytime soon, but we will soon find out. You never know what happens with teams. All it takes is one injury. See, so besides Bobby Miller and uh, Yuri Perez, top, well, at this point it's top eight. Holiday, De La Cruz, so that'd be top seven. He's gone. Uh, Churio, Marcelo Mayer, James Wood, Jordan Lawler, 
Evan Carter, Pete Crow, then you got Andrew Painter, he's a pitcher, and then Jackson Merrill. So that would be the top 10 round off there. And then Colton Kowser would be number 10, knocking out Ellie since he's already called up. Um, we got a little something here. I'm not paying attention to the camera, so I'm going to leave that there for a second. But that's a nice blue, I don't know if that's a shimmer or what, but uh, JD. So right away, as long as that blue is a hit, a hit hit, we can call that a homer. We'll call that for the, the card deal going for the cycle. There's James Wood. Nice chrome base. Man, I wish I'd have just graded more Ellie's. I was, I, I, the cheapest I sold was in the 70s, and I got as high as I got was 119, I think. And then most were going for like the 105. After that, uh, I had one left, I think, at the 119 mark. They were going for more, but I, I sold everything that I had. I wasn't sitting on a base card too long for it to go back down but kept one for my set and sold the rest so you live and learn and it's a gamble so you know he doesn't get called up or he doesn't play as well then gets called up and then just has an average season or average start that card's not selling for nowhere near 100 bucks in a PSA 10 Luis Rodriguez in the high five features. There's a self freely prospect. Where's Sal on this list? He's got to be top 20. Yeah, he's number eight. Uh, well, minus the pitcher, he's number 16. Pete Crow. Benny Bombs. Colson's doing better. Well, this pack is thin. This is only... How many cards? You got 10, right? 10 cards? This is... This is light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it felt a little light. Missing just a chrome. We'll see if another pack makes up for it. Tristan already called up. Move the space. Make some room. All right, we still haven't hit our auto. We did get one color, so we're probably going to get about two colors. Maybe a, maybe two colors in a paper. Um, we did get an Invicta. Those are usually, not, not in the jumbos, but the uh, hobbies are usually one per hobbies is what, what the average has been for this past release. So, yeah, this pack is thin too. Man, let's see what's going on here. Yep, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's exactly right. Just no, uh, no inserts. All paper, two chromes. Francisco Alvarez, he was the number one prospect coming into the season. Obviously, got the call up, but you know this release. Whenever they printed these or made these, they had him up at 27. So you see how fast they can rise. There's Colton in the paper, Valera, and Jay Allen. Another good. All the, the Reds got a lot of good prospects too. Reds and the uh, and the Orioles. Those two had some uh, some big hitters coming up. Development, health, all that plays a factor. But fun to follow. So I think if you get into more of the cards and understanding the, uh, the prospect side of things, it does become a lot more fun. It is ga definitely gambling. Um, but what's nice about the regular Bowman, you do get the opportunities for rookie cards. Um, they don't sell for as much if you're looking to just buy stuff to sell stuff, unfortunately, because people still want the, the true Topps flagship rookie. Um, and you've already had the first Bowman and then multiple prospects. In some cases, seven, eight, nine cards, depending on the player. Um, like Luciano, um, a couple of players that have been in the minors for a while, they've got six, seven prospect cards. And they're first and the handful of prospect cards. And then... Uh, they have the, uh, what do you call it, their final rookie card in the uh, call-up year. Okay, what do we got here? We got something thick, and it's, I don't know if it's going to be our auto. It's definitely a uh, little sparkle action. Put that back there for a sec. So there's Mauricio. Let's see. How old is he? Born in 01. 
Luciano. That's what I said. Marco Luciano. Luciano or Luciano? However you say it. He's the one that's been around for a long time. Shane Baz, he's already up. Jose Rodriguez. A lot of L rods, J rods. Bowman 3D. Brennan Davis. All right, we only got a few packs left, so our auto's got to be hiding in here somewhere. Um, there's a blue paper right there, so let's see what we got there. It's definitely in the prospect spot, so that's a good sign. O'Neill Cruz, hopefully he comes back soon. He's got that build body type that reminds me of O'Neill, uh, Ellie De La Cruz. Okay, let's see who we got here. It's a first, it's a Yankee. Trey Sweeney, that's pretty cool. That's that's nice. It's very nice. All right. Trey Sweeney. Okay, one, two, three, four packs left. We've got two hits sitting there, so we got the Invicta. Make some room here. I'm kind of all over the place with these chromes. Get this paper out of the way. Christian Hernandez. So we're doing auto, and that's another blue on the back. So would they put auto's face up like that? I don't, I don't remember. Well, nonetheless, we got two blues and a sparkle, so we got three hits right there. Um, that would be great if we still had an auto coming. This box would be pretty heavy. Uh, nope. Nothing in this pack, so let's fly through this, get this. There's a Churio. It's a good one. And if you think you missed out on Ellie, start sending in this guy. James Wood. Churio. Mayor. Mayor's, you know, previous release, but... Yeah, that's who you want to get in. Okay, so it looks like we do not have an auto in this pack. So the good news is we either have a blue auto or a sparkle auto um, to three ninety nine or two ninety nine. Sorry, the blue should be true. Blue should be two one fifty. All right, oops, get rid of that. So no big Ellies. Um, put that in the home run spot. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, guys, girls, ladies, gents. Lady, who are you calling lady? Acuna, middle Acuna. Paper, another Acuna. And is this going to be, what's the red, I saw red, I was like, it's, is, that a, is that the Reds? No, it's the Angels. It's a first, no, that's the D-backs. Alvin Guzman. I saw the bottom of the A. I thought that was the. Uh, I thought that was the uh, Anaheim Angels. Mr. Guzman. Fifteen of one fifty. A true blue. Cool. So, the hits have been plentiful out of this box so far. I'm gonna check something here real quick. Seven oh six. What is the base on this year? Don't remember this photo image. Yeah, 706, that is a base. Usually they're a little bit thicker on the image variations. At least in draft they were. Um, okay, so let's try the uh, the sparkle. This one should be the auto. Okay, it's Toronto. Okay. Dalmiano Palmate. Man, forget about it. Forget about it. No idea. Know nothing about him. That's a tough name to say there. I'm not going to even try to butcher that one. I don't think he's even in the top 100, but who knows? That could change. I'll have to look up and see what this guy's about. I, I pulled his purple before. And it just kind of set it aside and didn't do anything with it. So we'll see if he's uh, 
he's done anything. Born in 2000, uh, number 467 prospect in the 2021 draft. Uh, small sample size. We'll see. Okay, we got a blue on the back here. This one is going to be a wave uh, or blue lava, however you call it. Um, Cubbies? Davis? No. Ranier Quintino? Quintero? Ranier? 101 of 150. So, not huge names, but who knows? Time will tell, right? All right, boys and girls. Well, I don't know. I guess we can call it that we hit for the cycle, right? I mean, we did pretty good. The blasters were, were nice. We got a paper auto. First refractor to uh, 499. Got this blue here, true blue to 150. And then the Trey Sweeney, that was really nice, nice surprise. So, I mean, great box. Yeah, there's there's going to be some money that I can, you know, try to salvage out of there. These boxes are getting a little bit more expensive, but good value. It's not always going to be this nice, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good firsts. Um, the Jordan Walker, De La Cruz paper. Just leave that for a little good luck during this break. Um, put those over there. So this was the this was the uh, the hobby box. So. Guys and girls, thanks for watching. Jordan Walker, Invicta, Trey Sweeney, nice aqua. I think that's aqua or sky blue. Well, it's a little darker for the sky blue. That looks more, that yeah, may be the aqua because those are usually four ninety nine. dollars Anyway, uh, Trey Sweeney first, 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 first. A lot of first. Um, it's Bowman, man. You just never know what these players are going to do. So, awesome. I'm happy. Back to some baseball. Gonna watch some games, turn the TV on, do some sorting. Hope everybody's doing good. I didn't want to catch my break the other night. Thanks for joining if you're watching this. Appreciate that. Got some more good stuff coming up here in the works. Some announcements and things like that that hopefully are going to be a lot of fun for everybody of all budgets. All right, I got wrappers all over the floor. I got a mess here. All right, guys and gals, I'm out of here. Until next time. See you.